the worst person ever when it comes to trying not to spend money because when I try not to spend money, I just end up spending a lot of money. So if any of my friends are watching this, please beat my ass because I, I don't do it to myself so I don't spend money. So I'm sorry I let you down. So Black Friday, I, s I, I snapped. I, I really did snap, okay? I have behind me seven bags of things that I got, mostly clothes, but stuff that I got either for myself or for my family for Christmas. But we're not telling them that. They're not going to watch this. They're not going to know. But I'm just going to show you guys what we got here today. So bag number one, we hit up Forever 21. Everything they had was 30% off. So I was like, why not? You know, like, why not? One thing that I got was this really cute plaid top. And I think this is like an extra small. Yeah, it's an extra small. And normally I'd wear like a small or a medium. So we're going to hope this fits because if not, then that's going to suck because I couldn't find like another size. I couldn't even find like the same shirt. So I was like, you know, I can always return it. Like I'll just leave the tags on. But this is so freaking cute. Like just, oh my God. I just, wow. Two, I got this. It's like a purplish sweater, a little crop sweater, you know, you know, I got this. It's a little, little edgy for me. It's a bodysuit. It's a little checkered bodysuit. I don't know. Thought, why not? You know, I saw it. I was like, frick yeah. So this is the back. It's a really like scoopy back. This is the front. So don't know where I'm gonna wear that, but the last from Forever 21 is these pants that I got. Really comfy material. They're kind of like these pants that I have already. And just look at this. Look at it. She's beautiful. It ties over here and it's very like elastic so hopefully it fits me because I didn't try any of these on all the clothes I bought today I didn't try any of them on I forgot I bought these shit I bought these little like elastics but they're not like elastics they're like for your hair but they're for like thicker haired girls like me because it's better than ponytails which I like these way better so at Forever 21 I had 30% off everything like my whole purchase 30% off and I spent $55.88, so not too bad. I got, what, I got three shirts. One of them's a bodysuit and some pants for 55 bucks. It's like not too bad, you know? That's pretty good, that's pretty good. So I'm happy with it. Store number two that we hit up was Miss Victoria. Um, I like had to, okay? And disclaimer, there are a lot of impulsive buys that I really wanted to get at this store. One being a Victoria's Secret fashion show, like, robe, and it was silk. Oh my god, I wanted to buy it so bad. It was $7. I was really about to buy it, but Athena talked me out of it. I was like, Bitch. but it's fine. Maybe it's for the best. Okay, so one thing I got here, this is a shirt that I got for my mom for Christmas, so we're not gonna tell her. I didn't know what she likes, but I know she likes stuff from Pink. And she likes stuff with the logo and the name on it. So I was like, all right, go ahead. Then I got this really cute pajama set because they had buy one set of pajamas, get another free. So I bought one set and then I was like, well, I don't need more than one because I already got like so much shit. I really wear pajamas to begin with, okay? But I saw them and I was like, they're so cute. So I was like, shit, you know? So I told Athena, like, go buy one, like, get one so you can get them for free. And this is what I ended up going with. It looked really cute on the mannequin. So, like, don't at me. If it looks weird, it looks really cute on the mannequin. And it will look cute on me. Fuck off. So this is the top. It's a long sleeve pajama. It's, like, a really comfy but, like, breathable material, I guess. But, yeah, she's nice. And it's got matching bottoms. These are also long. It has, a, like, Victoria's Secret along. And they're, like, a little bit skinny. And at the end, it's got, like, this cuff at the end. Really, really cute. And also with my purchase, I got a bag that they gave me. So, love that. I love free shit. Speaking of free shit, if any vendors or companies or anything in this video want to sponsor me, now's your chance. Like, just do it. Do it! Just do it! Like, I don't understand. And my total savings at Victoria's Secret slash Pink were... 
So I had the discounts of the buy one get one free sleepwear. So I saved $59 from that because they were the same price but one was free. And then I also got a free deal discount with a reward card. And they gave me the pink tote for free with a $75 purchase. So I got the tote for free because I spent over 75 bucks, And they gave me a discount thing to use next time when I want it. Okay, next store I hit up was Macy's. This is just going to be a little less exciting or whatever. This is what I got for my dad. He's like one of those guys that like just like wears those zip ups, you know? You guys know what kind of dads I'm talking about. So it's a Tommy Hilfiger zip up. I thought it was nice. I think he'll wear it. And this is for my grandma because she wears only black and all that. And like I didn't know what to get her but she wears sweaters because she gets cold all the time. So I got her this sweater and it like unbuttons it. And it's got like pearls and all that. And I thought it was cute. You know, like for a grandma, it's cute. With Macy's, I saved. So on this little, on this shirt, this thing, it was originally $49. And I only paid $15. Bitch. And then on the Tommy Hilfiger, it's originally $79. And I paid $40. Bitch. So I only paid a total of $58.83. Finessed. We, we really finessed. We really did some savings on this one. Like, truly. I made $74 worth of savings. Like, that's that's phenomenal. Ugh, the coupon queens would be so proud of me. I need to be on my extreme couponing, like, right now. So after we went to Macy's, we went over to Clark Street Sports. And I got this for my oldest brother. I got him a Blackhawks hoodie because he loves the Blackhawks. And honestly, I freaked out. I didn't know what to buy. So, yeah, got that. I think I paid like 60 bucks for this. This one wasn't discounted. So I didn't know that, but I was like, screw it. I'll buy it anyways. Next, we went over to PacSun. I've only shopped there like maybe one other time in my life. I think I bought like maybe one or two other shirts from there. But I was, I was mildly surprised at their discounts. So this sweater really caught my eye. I thought she was a cute girl. I thought she was cute. I also got this shirt. It's a bit risky, but you know, I think I can pull it off. I really do. I really do think. I think, I, I really like this. I can imagine myself wearing this. Like, look at it. Like, it's a very deep scoop neck. It's got like a button and it's long sleeves. I think I can, I can pull it off. I got this other sweater. It's a button up. Cause like, I just need sweaters guys. I really do. Send me clothes, please. Send me clothes. So at PacSun. Theirs was a buy one, get one, 50% off. So I bought one, I got another shirt 50% off, and then, you know, I could have bought another shirt and had four total and then get another 50% off, but I was like, yeah, like, I can't really find anything. And I spent a total of 86 bucks over there. Eh, it's alright. After we left the mall, because I got really fucking tired of standing there, we ended up going to Best Buy and Ulta, which are like across the street in another little strip mall over there so that's bye so these first three things are actually for my brother for christmas i didn't really know what to get him like i really don't know so i got him crash bandicoot for playstation 4 because like first of all i loved this as a kid so i mean it's kind of for him and for me and then i also got him just dance 2019 for a playstation once again um, kind of for him kind of for me i don't know and then I got him for his Nintendo Switch, Minecraft, which I don't know if he plays anymore, but I mean, I bought it, so he better. These were kind of more for me. I got um, a little, whatever this is called, <laughs> uh, a sand disc for my camera for storage. Yep. A little case for my camera, like my vlogging camera, because I didn't have one before. And... It's all scratched up now, so I should have thought of that earlier. And then I got a new tripod for, like, my portable vlogs because I lost the leg on my other one when I went to California for TanaCon. So I got a new one. So my total savings at Best Buy were... On my Sony bundle, it was originally $16. I bought it for $12. My tripod was originally $25. And I got it for 18 My camera, my USD card, my SD card, duh. SD card, it was $11. The game 
Crash Bandicoot, it was $40 and I got it for $15. Just Dance was $40, I got it for $15. And then Minecraft, I paid $30. So I mean, like, honestly, not too bad. And I paid a total of $132. I saved $118 though, so like, shit. Alright, and last but not least, Miss Ulta. So I'm not much of an Ulta shopper. I usually go to Sephora because I get my points, get my VIB Rouge, which I renewed for another year. <laughs> but, you know, I went to Ulta. I kind of wanted to check out the James Charles palette, which sadly was not there when I saw it, which kind of sucked because I kind of wanted to take a look at it. But I did see Kylie Cosmetics. First thing when I got into Ulta, I see Kylie and you know, I was like, why not? You know, I have Candy K already, but High Key really needed to get another lip liner and I wanted to get the new formula because like the old formula I have is like really drying. So I went and I got this. So she's cute and I like the dark packaging. It's nice. Literally when I first got my Candy K, it was when she just started making them like it was the first batch of like formulas like Kylie if you're watching this sis I've been there from the beginning so hit me up with that promo and you retweeted me once before on your account and on Kylie Cosmetics so also I got some beauty blenders because a girly was running out I haven't changed my beauty blenders in like I want to say a year and I found out you're supposed to change them every one to three months, but I didn't know. So I was like, okay, let me just get a pack of four. I saw this and I had to, Miss Grande, literally take all of my money. Please, please. I got cloud. I got the biggest one. I was like, fuck it. Why not? You know, Let's just go big, go home. And really cute. I guess this came with the perfume. Like she gave it to me while I was checking out. She's like, oh, and you get a gift. And they're earmuffs, like earmuffs. Like, how cute. Like, we love a queen that cares about our ears for the winter. Like, I really love that. And then they also gave me... What is this? They gave me a plush throw. Like, one of those fuzzy-ass blankets. I don't know what for. She just told me. She's like, you get a blanket. She's like, what color do you want? And I was like, I'll take the gray one. And I at first, I thought it was a robe, but I guess it's not a robe. But I mean, it's a blanket, dude. I don't know what I deserve to get this. But I just want to say thank you. Oh my god, literally. Oh my god, the cashiers, they literally hate me. When they gave me like the earmuffs and like the blanket after they rung up the Ariana perfume, they're like telling me like, oh, you get this. Oh, and you get this. And I literally said out loud, like, I'm such an idiot. I was literally like, wow, God truly is a woman. And then they just all looked at me like, <laughs> and I should, you not, like, they just wanted to get me out right now. But so our savings at Ulta. Kylie, I paid a whole $29. The sponge is $18. Ariana's perfume, $60. And then the throw pillow. The throw pillow was worth $50. And I got that for free. And I got the earmuffs for free. So I paid a total of $114. I saved $50. So that's awesome. I saved $50 because I got a gift for free. So basically, I like paid for everything. Like how much it was. But I got a free at two free things actually. So... I guess that's still better than what Sephora was doing. See, they weren't doing anything, but but yeah, you guys, that is my Black Friday haul. This is my first Black Friday ever, so I really didn't know what to expect price-wise, discount-wise, how hectic everything is, you know. And now I'm going to do the final thing. We're going to add everything up, and we're going to see how much in debt I am, so <laughs> I'm really scared. Fuck. All right. Oh my god, I'm, more, I'm gonna be right. Oh my god, I know I'm gonna be right. Oh my god, this is like a little scary. Oh my god, I'm gonna be right. My prediction's gonna be right. Oh my god, I'm gonna be right. This is so scary. Oh my god, I'm literally gonna be right. I think I'm gonna go over the amount too. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that leg really hurt for me to look at. Oh my god, y'all. I have a problem. I spent $609. Good luck, Charlie. No, I'm okay. okay, so that's like 100 over what I thought I was going to spend. So, I think I can do it. I think I'll figure it out. You know, I always figure my shit out. I'll figure it out. It's no big deal. But it's kind of a big haul. It's kind of a lot of stuff when you really think about it. I mean, 
I went to seven different stores. That's a lot of stuff. What are you going to do? Honestly, I would have saved a good two, 200 to 300 dollars if I didn't get presents for my family. But you know, yeah, I guess you only got one, so. Whatever, I'm going to be the favorite kid now, so. But anyways, if you guys did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also go down there. Hit the subscribe button so you know when I post every Saturday. And also hit the little bell button that's right next to it. It's going to go. And you're going to know when I post every week. Also, comment what you got for Black Friday. Did you go Black Friday shopping? Do you want to go? You can also go down, check all my social media in the description. You're going to see my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat, all that good stuff. Also, share the video. Someone you think would like it. You know, maybe you got an aunt or a mom that did some Black Friday shopping. Maybe you just want some inspiration for next year. So, that's it, you guys. I'll see you next week. Hopefully, not drowning in debt. So, by then, I hope you guys are debt-free, living your best lives with no regrets, shopping, getting that thing that you want to get. You know, just living your best life, man. YOLO. You only live once. Like, come on. All right, I'm done. I'll see you next week. Peace out. Take hold of me. You're flowing through my arms like ecstasy, ecstasy.